Yeah, hi there, and uh, these comments are for R, and I am Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at Stealth, the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and you're also one of my students at California State University, San Bernardino, and you completed one of my integrated speaking practice tests. So let's hear what you have to say. Conversation agree that... Both of the speakers in the conversation agree that education has to be fun in the classrooms. The first speaker acknowledged that many children who are not interested in learning because they feel bored in their college that many children who are not interested in learning because they feel bored in their classroom. He gives the examples of solving the problem through rules of play, and he explains its useful impact. Moreover, he suggests that as the doctor gives the children sweet drink when they visit him, also the teacher has to attract students by his creativity. The second speaker agreed that by showing... And don't forget sometimes with your third person S endings, the speaker acknowledges or the second speaker agrees. So just remember to pronounce those S's on your third person singular verbs. Many studies that demonstrate how students learn faster when they study interactively. In addition, he mentions that teachers have to be friendly with their students. In conclusion, these are the speaker's suggestions of how to make a classroom enjoyable. Both of the speakers... And that was a great response right there, so... Let's take a look at the rubrics right now. So for the integrated speaking here, I think that you will score high for three reasons. First of all, not a lot of major problems uh, with pronunciation, and I did point out that sometimes you're not pronouncing that S ending on your third person verbs. So be careful about that. You can review in the pronunciation area of my course, review the lessons on syllable division and grammatical word endings. Uh, your grammar, your language use, very strong. You had a good control of both basic and advanced vocabulary and grammar. And in terms of top development, you had a clear organization with a complete, accurate response. So for this one, uh, I'm going to put you at uh, 3.0 out of 4, or 23 points out of 30 on this practice test. And that's going to put you at 96% on this assignment. All right, thank you.